Have you ever made a mistake? <laughs> Don't worry, you will. That's where the undo command comes into play in AutoCAD. This command is found in most computer programs and it is one of my all-time favorite commands. Let's open up a file. Let's look at the ice rink example file. This is a layout of a very basic or standard ice hockey rink. Now, for the undo command, there are several ways to use it. You can type in the word undo, press enter, and you can tell it how many operations that you want to undo. Just one, two, three, four, however many there are. You can also just type in the letter U, and that will undo the last thing that you did. You can also type in Control Z. So if I draw a line, I didn't mean to do that. Press Control Z. That will also give you the undo. You can also come up to the Quick Access Toolbar, click on this little arrow. As you click on it, it will undo an option. If you click on the little arrowhead, it will give you a list of different things that you've done. So let's say we panned, we zoomed, we drew a line, we copied that line. And there we go. So now when I come up here, I click on this little arrow and it gives me a list of things. I can undo the last thing, which was a copy, or I can go through this list and undo all of them all at one time. Note that the undo has no effect on some commands in systems variables, including those that open, close, or save a window or a drawing, display information, change the graphics display, or regenerate the drawing, or even export the drawing into a different format. A bit of advice though, be careful when you undo because you can't undo and undo. Well, you can with a, a bit of an exception. That's with the redo command. You can find that right up here very easily. It works just like the undo, only it's in reverse. So I can put all those things back with the redo. So if you can undo something, you can redo it. But once you redo it, can you undo it again? You can keep going back and forth if you so choose. So you can get to the redo by typing in redo, just like you did with the undo command. Now the undo feature can fix some mistakes, but it can't fix itself, and it can't fix everything. So just be very careful. Also note, there is another form of the redo command called the oops. Now the oops only affects things that you erase. So if I erase this line right here, then I draw another line, and I copy it, several times. If I need that erased object back, if I undo, it's going to undo all of this information and I'll have to recreate it. Well, that's okay. Since it was an erase, the oops command will bring back the last item that you erased. So you can keep that in mind as well.